Thank you. A Sedalia man says faith and a medical miracle gave him a second chance at life. Kelly Anspont gradually deteriorated during his adult life. And in April this year, he was getting ready to say goodbye to his loved ones when he found out he needed both a kidney and heart transplant. But thanks to an unknown organ donor and doctors at St. Luke's Mid-America Heart Institute, he's alive. KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leone has his story. Go ahead and step on the scale for me, Kelly. For Kelly Ann Spa, the first step toward his new life was having faith. There's two ways I could win. For years, the now 61-year-old played tug-of-war with death. 20 years ago, a virus attacked his heart and weakened it. To keep him alive, doctors implanted a life-saving heart pump, also known as an LVAD, in 2017. But in spring of this year, his heart could no longer function by itself, and doctors had to install a second heart pump. Kelly was sure this was the last step of his journey. I knew it was over because my wife's a nurse, and... You know, she, I could tell it in her eyes. Kelly was put on the heart transplant list, but due to his health and lack of blood flow, he was also in need of a kidney. We were really at a point where we said, okay, either we turn off the pump and let you die naturally, or we can take a chance and see if we can do not only just a heart transplant, which by itself is difficult enough, but also at the same time do a kidney transplant. But after 10 days on the transplant list, a guardian angel came to Kelly's aid. He was matched with a donor, and this angel provided Kelly with both a new heart and kidney. The surgery was long, but a success, and gave Kelly the missing step he needed to continue this journey. This is beyond a miracle. I mean, this, I mean, I think if we had five patients like this, um, this could only happen in one, one person. But to Kelly, faith was all he needed when he couldn't see the entire staircase you know you just got to believe and you know I wasn't a big fan of, of the Lord when I was younger but I am now because uh, I definitely felt the spirit and it uh, it runs through you God bless him. Out of more than 900 transplants at St. Luke's, 20 to 25 have been those combined heart-kidney transplants. Kelly says his future is full. Big adventures with his wife and his new heart. And enjoys going up and down the stairs, he says, something he was not able to do for a long time until now. What a story. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and for, a, for a doctor to call something like that a miracle, you know, is, is pretty impactful because they see all of that and Absolutely. be able to do it once is really amazing.